In a jaw-dropping turn of events, Vice President Kembo Mahadi was airlifted following a sudden collapse at an election rally in Gouda West, Zimbabwe. This dramatic incident unfolded as he was addressing a campaign launch for the ruling party's candidate, John Paradza. The sudden fall left rally attendees in shock and raised pressing questions about the health of one of the country's vice presidents, airlifted for urgent medical attention. Mohadi's collapse was so sudden and severe that he had to be swiftly airlifted to an undisclosed medical facility. According to the standard, security agents immediately took action, rounding up journalists covering the event and instructing them to delete any photos of VP Kembo Mohadi's collapse. The veil of secrecy surrounding his condition left many speculating about the cause. Official explanation falls short in an attempt to downplay the incident, ZANU-PF Secretary for Security, Lovemore Matuk, claimed, surely there is no story. It's sugar diabetes. However, this explanation did little to satisfy those who witnessed the event and were left baffled by the rapid turn of events. The mystery surrounding Mahadi's collapse and the subsequent evacuation deepened, leaving many wondering about the transparency and truthfulness of the official explanation. The collapse of Vice President Mahadi has thrown a spotlight on the health of Zimbabwe's top political figures and has revived concerns about their fitness for the roles they hold. This incident is reminiscent of past health issues among Zimbabwe's political elite, including the late President Robert Mugabe's fall in 2015 and the collapse of ZANU-PF Women's League National Secretary Shivai Mahofa in 2014.AS The nation awaits further updates on Vice President Mahadi's condition, Questions loom about the well-being of those occupying the highest echelons of power in Zimbabwe. The incident has intensified the scrutiny on the health of the country's political leaders.